Hi, good morning children. How are you? I think all are happy and fine. Now we are entering into a new academic year. During the last year, you learned through the online method. Most probably this year also our classes are begins with online mode. Anyway, we are starting our classes. In 10th standard, in biology, you want to learn 8 lessons. In 9th standard, you learn the different system of our body. Like that, in 10th standard also, your first lesson is related to the one of the important system of our body. That is the nervous system. And the name of the lesson is Sensation and Responses. So you take a fresh page and note down the name of the lesson. Unit 1, Sensation and Responses. What are called as sensations? And what are called as responses? Sensations are the experiences of the sense organs. In your earlier classes, you learn the different sense organs. There are five sense organs in our body. That is, eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. These are the five sense organs of our body. And how these organs are able to identify the senses? The senses that evoke response in an organism are called as stimuli. And the stimuli may be external or internal. The stimuli that come from Inside the body are called as internal stimuli. Example, hunger, thirst, etc. And the stimuli that come from outside the body are called as external stimuli. Example, sound, smell, etc. In all sense organs, specialized cells are there to receive the stimuli. And these specialized cells Responsible to receive the stimuli are called as receptors. These receptors receive the stimuli and send messages to the brain through various nerves. And the brain helps us to identify or experience different types of senses. The nervous system consists of mainly three important parts. First part, it is the brain. Second part, it is the spinal cord. And third part, it is the nerves. These three main parts constitute the nervous system. And the nervous system is made up of specialized cells called as nervous cells. Nerve cells are called as neurons. Neurons are the structural and functional unit of nervous system. Now we are going to learn about the structure of neuron or nervous cell. Nervous cell is like that of a kite and it consists of mainly six parts. The six parts of the neurons are as first one axon, second one axonite, dendron, dendrite, synaptic nerve and trans cell. All these are the six parts of neuron. The expanded portion of the nervous cell or neuron is called as cell body. From the cell body, some long filaments and short filaments are arising. The long filaments arising from the cell body are called as axon. The small filaments arising from the cell body are called as dendron. The branches of the dendron are called as dendrites. The branches of the axon are called as axonite. At the tip of the axonite, there is a bulb-like structure is present and it is called as synaptic nerve. And most of the axons are covered by a membrane and this is called as myelin sheath. And this myelin sheath is made up of a special type of cells called as Schwann cells. So, these are the six parts of the neuron. 
And now we are learn one by one. First part that is axon. Axon is the longest filament arising from the cell body. And it carries impulses or messages from the cell bodies to the axonite. That is the functions of axon. It is the longest filament arising from the cell body and it carries messages or impulses from the cell body to the axonite. The second part of neuron is called as axonite. Axonites are the branches of axon and it carries messages to the synaptic nerve. These are the two functions of axonite. The, these are the branches of axon and it carries messages or impulses to the synaptic nerve. The third part of neuron is called as dendron. These are the short filaments arising from the cell body and it carries messages from dendrites to the cell body. Carrying messages from dendrites to the cell body. These are the two functions of dendron. The next part of neuron is called as dendrites. Dendrites are the branches of dendron and it receives messages from adjacent neuron. That is the main function of dendrites. It receives messages or impulses from the adjacent neuron. Then the fifth part of neuron that is called as synaptic nerve. Synaptic node that is the tip of axonite and it secrete a chemical substances called as neurotransmitter. These are the two functions of synaptic node. These are the tips of axonite and it secrete neurotransmitter. And the next part of neuron it called as Schwann cell. So it encircles the axon. The membrane that covers axon is called as myelin sheath and this myelin sheath is made up of a special type of cells called as Schwann cells. So all these are the six parts and the functions of six parts. The part of the brain and spinal cord where myelinated nerve cells are present is called as white matter where the Non-myelinated nerve cells are present is called as gray matter. The myelin sheath performs four functions. First one, it provides oxygen and nutrients to the axon. Second one, it accelerates impulses. Third one, it acts as an electric insulator. And fourth one, it protects axon from external shocks. These are the four major functions of myelin sheath. Now we can see how to draw the structure of neuron.
Now, note down some questions. Question number one. What are called as stimuli? What are called as stimuli? What are called as stimuli? Question number two. Explain types of stimuli with example. Explain types of stimuli with example. Next question. Formation of myelin sheath. Formation of myelin sheath. Next question. Functions of myelin sheath. Functions of myelin sheath. Next question. Draw the structure and label the parts of neuron. Draw the structure and label the parts of neuron. Thank you.